Hi, welcome back to my channel Mass Insights. In this video, we are going to learn what is meant by a polynomial, how many types of polynomials are there, what is the degree of a polynomial, what is the zero of a polynomial. All these are included in this video. First, I will say the definition of polynomial. Before this, you have to know the meanings of some terms. The term expression. We will explain this term with an example. Suppose you wrote on the cost of a book, let it be x and you want to purchase 4 books. Then what is the total cost of 4 books? That is 4x. Is it or not? 4x. See here, the x is called variable here. Why? Because it is changing, it is variating. That's why it is called variable. And this 4 is called a constant actually and its value will not change. So in this 4x, in this 4x, you will call x as variable and 4 is a coefficient. So coefficient in this is 4 and variable is x. And the next one is algebraic, algebraic expression. You know what is meant by algebra? Algebra is nothing but involving addition, subtraction, division and multiplication. So coming to the point, polynomial is an algebraic expression in which the powers of the variables involved will have non-negative integers. It's very simple. A polynomial is an algebraic expression in which the variables involved will have non-negative integers as their powers. This will become very clear if you take an example. See, I'm taking five examples. In this, the first one is 4x square. You know, the variable involved in this is x and its power should be power should be non negative non negative integer it should not be a negative number and it should not be a rational number it should be only non negative integer you know what are meant by integers integers means zero and on right side 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 on left side you will have minus 1, minus 2, minus 3, minus 4 and so on. Only you have numbers with positive and negative signs. We will not have any decimals, we will not have any fractions in integers. And in that integers you have to have non-negative integer as the power of the variable involved in that term. Here, if you take the second one, the variable involved here is y and its, and its power is 2, which is a non-negative integer. So, it is a polynomial. It is a polynomial. Similarly, if you see the third example, the variable involved here is also x and its power is 1, which is non-negative integer. That's why it is also a polynomial. Coming to the fourth example, if you observe, see this 2 into 1 by x plus y, you may write. And if you write this x in denominator, numerator, sorry, numerator, it will become x power minus 1 plus y. Here we have to observe the variable x is having a negative integer. That's why it is not a polynomial. Okay. And in the fifth example also, you have 1 by y. y is in denominator. If you will write it in numerator, it will become y power minus 1. y power minus 1 plus 2. Therefore, the dig the power of the variable involved in this having negative integer that's why 
it is not a polynomial as per our definition okay this is the main this is the definition of the polynomial now you are going to learn how many types of polynomials are there see you have two categories of polynomials first category is depending on the degree depending on the degree we will have different types of polynomials and depending on the number of terms you will have another category of polynomials so question arises again what is the degree of a polynomial yes very important question so degree of a polynomial you know all these are polynomials as per our definition as the variables involved in this polynomials are not containing not containing negative integers or fractions whatever it may be and degree of a polynomial is highest to power of any variable involved in the polynomial highest to power see suppose I will take the first one in this first one the first term will have 2 as its power 2 and in the second one you have a power that is that may be written as see 3x square plus 4 into x power 0 the power of the variable in the first term is 0 and the power of the variable in the second term is Two. So, in this term the power is 2 and in this term the power is 0. So, whichever is the highest one that is called the degree of the polynomial. Polynomial may have more number of terms. So, in each term we have to find what is the power of variable in each term. In all the terms the highest one, the highest one is the degree of the polynomial. So, in these two terms, 2 is the highest one. Therefore, 2 is the degree of this polynomial. 2 is the degree. Similarly, if you come to the second polynomial, the variable involved here is y and you may write here y power 0. So, the first term will have 1 as its degree and the second term will have 0 as its degree. So, in total this polynomial is containing two terms and the highest degree of the terms is 1. Why? Because here is 1, here is 0. Therefore, as per our definition, highest degree of a term in a polynomial is called degree of the polynomial. So, the degree of this polynomial is 1. Okay. Similarly, if you observe the third polynomial 3x square plus 4x plus 8. In this, you have 2 as the highest degree if you consider all the terms. Therefore, 2 is called the degree of the polynomial 3x square plus 4x plus 8. So, I think you have cleared, you are very clear what is meaning of degree of a polynomial. The first category, coming to the first category, if the degree of a polynomial is 0, say question arises, suppose first one, I am taking 0. Actually, 0 is also a polynomial, but its degree is undefined. Its degree is undefined. Undefined degree. And the name is name is zero polynomial. This is called zero polynomial. Okay. And if you come to the second one, I am taking an example four. Four is a polynomial. Keep in your mind, you may write this as four into x power zero or four into y power zero, whatever the variable you may like. You may write putting zero as its power, then it will become four okay then its degree is zero degree is zero zero then this is called this is called constant polynomial 
कॉन्स्टेंट पॉलिनामियल why because we have only a constant for our convenience you are writing 4 into x power 0 or 4 into y power 0 coming to third one if you take an example like 5y see the degree of this polynomial is 1 why because it is having degree 1 of its term 5y therefore it is called <coughs> it is called first degree okay first degree polynomial first degree polynomial and if you take another example that is it may be 4x square plus 4x plus 8 this is also a polynomial and if you observe and if you observe the degree of this polynomial is 2 why because the first term is having highest degree 2 that's why this is called what you call this is called quadratic quadratic polynomial and if you take 5x cube plus 6x plus 9 this is a polynomial with a degree 3 this is called cubic polynomial cubic polynomial and so on you have different names okay coming to this one based on the number of terms you will have different types of polynomials first one is if the polynomial contains a single term a single term like 3y this is called monomial okay monomial and coming to the second point if the polynomial contains two terms in it then that is called binomial okay suppose for example 2x plus 8 see this is the first term and this is the second term it is containing two terms in it that's why it is called binomial binomial okay third one if any polynomial contains three terms in it then that is said to be a trinomial for example 9y square plus 8y plus 6 this is a tri nominal since it is having three terms in it and so on and so on if you increase number of terms then you will name the final one as multinomial multinomial okay so you have to understand the huge difference between polynomial and multinomial Polynomial and multinomials are quite different ones. A polynomial is always a multinomial, but a multinomial may not be a polynomial, but it may be. So, in some conditions, it may be. Polynomial has to satisfy condition, but this multinomial may not satisfy our condition that the power should be non negative integers. What is the value of a polynomial? I am taking a polynomial. See, polynomials are named as f of x, g of x, h of x, whatever it may be. h of x, g of x, f of x are different names. See, I am taking f of x is equals to 8y square plus 3y plus 4. This is a polynomial and I want to find the value of this polynomial. Here, the value of the polynomial means we will substitute one value for the variable involved. The variable involved here is y. I may take different values for y and substitute. Then I will get a final value. That is the value of the polynomial. Suppose, suppose, suppose let, let y is equals to 1. Then I will substitute. See, I am taking I am taking here this is y I am taking y is equals to 1 so I am going to find f of 1 f of 1 therefore 8 into 1 square plus 3 into 1 plus 4 I am substituting 1 wherever y is there therefore 1 square is 1 1 into 8 is 8 plus 3 into 1 is 3 plus 4 
8 plus 3 is 11, 11 plus 4 is 15. See, this is the value of the polynomial at, at y is equals to 1. So, you may have different values for this polynomial if you substitute different values for y. So, this is value of a polynomial. Next and foremost important thing, 0 of a polynomial, 0 of a polynomial. Very important and students are confusing how to find 0 of a polynomial and also how to understand that 0 polynomial is different from 0 of a polynomial. 0 polynomial we discussed earlier okay and 0 of a polynomial is different. See 0 of a polynomial is very simple I am taking another example let its name be g of x and I am taking 3x square plus 4x minus 9. This is a polynomial and I want to find 0 of the polynomial. Before finding you have to know what is meant by 0 of a polynomial. Very simple. Earlier you have calculated the value of the polynomial at y is equals to 1. Means when you are keeping y is equals to 1 you are getting the value of the polynomial as 15. Now I want to get the value of the polynomial 0. Then question arises what is to be substituted for x to get 0 as the value of the polynomial. This is very simple. Suppose I am taking another polynomial x square minus 4. This is a polynomial. If I substitute x is equals to 2 x is equals to 2 that means g of 2 is equals to g of 2 is equals to 2 square minus 4 that means 2 square is 4 minus 4 that is equals to 0 that means you are getting the value of this polynomial g of x 0 by substituting x is equals to 2 this x is equals to 2 is called 0 of the polynomial it's very simple for whatever the value you are substituting for the variable to get 0 then that value is said to be 0 of the polynomial here x is equals to 2 is the 0 of the polynomial this will be this will be become very clear to you when you solve some problems on these topics whatever we discussed so i am going to solve different problems in the next video for understanding these concepts very clearly now if you like my video kindly subscribe it share it and this will give me an immense confidence to make more videos on more important topics we will meet in the next coming video until then have a nice day thank you